Hi, and thank you very much for taking the time to come and watch our series of modernization videos. In this series, we will talk about what it is to digitally transform your business through the act of modernization, specifically using the containerized technology. So what is digital transformation? Digital transformation is the ability to take your business in the form that it is today, most likely legacy and monolithic, and transform it into something that is more agile, elastic, and highly available, and we call that a modernized business. So why do customers care about digitally transforming their businesses? Honestly, it just comes to one very simple principle, survival. Legacy businesses and large businesses today are at the threat of businesses and small startups like Netflix and Airbnb that were able to vastly disrupt the industries that they entered. Netflix redefined the way that customers and people were watching movies and renting videos. Airbnb today does millions of reservations online every day without owning a single piece of property. So for businesses to stay relevant, they need to digitally transform. They need to get to a position where they can be as agile and as elastic as companies like Airbnb and Netflix. To allow them to focus on their business, on their applications and their customer experience so that their customers will stick around and work with them as opposed to migrating to another provider. We also know that modernization is tough. It is difficult to make the changes that are required in order to go from a legacy business into one that is very modern. So we're going to help you transform your business and speak through the principles that are required in order to get you to a modernized business. Modernization is not just about the adoption of technology. It's not just about implementing CI, CD and automation. That won't make you a modernized business. Modernization is also primarily a cultural shift inside of your business. The way your security teams work with your operations teams, the way that your developers take responsibility for their code, not only in the source and development stages, but also ultimately the experience that customers get from that application. The way the security teams no longer get involved directly in those processes, but put in safety harnesses and guide wires that allow them to iterate, to experiment and build new features at scale and at speed for their customers. This cultural shift is important. And we'll talk about how you can do those cultural shifts as well. A digitally modernized business will have three fundamental traits. They'll be elastic, they'll be always available, and they will be highly agile. So what is elasticity? Elasticity is your ability to grow and shrink at the demand of your customers. Your business should be focusing on paying for things that your customers want. Things like research and development, things like adding new features that our customers can use. And you shouldn't be spending money on over-provisioning things like infrastructure, load balances, and compute nodes in your data center. Elasticity also directly goes with availability. If your product is down, if your website isn't coming up, if your application's not responding because it can't talk to the back end, then your customers are going to go to your competitor. They're not going to wait until your business is back up and your app experience is available. So high availability is really important. And this high availability is only achieved if you deploy into places like multiple regions or multiple data centers in an easy manner. But most importantly, your business needs to be agile. Agility gives you that opportunity to listen to your customers, iterate on their requirements and their experience, and give them what they want faster and more quickly. It allows you to also recover from failure or from things like security breaches a lot more faster. Once your business has these three key characteristics, you're a digitalized, modern company. So how do you really modernize? The answer is actually quite simple. It's a cultural shift that you need to make with inside of your business. Your teams need to make the active decision that they want to modernize and that they want to remove as many blockers from their developers as possible. Giving your developers the responsibility of the customer experience is at the heart of these decisions. 
and all of your teams, security, operations, audit and compliance, all of them need to work together in order to achieve this goal. Modernization means adopting patterns that reach this goal. How do we provide our developers with strict instructions and patterns that allow them to go into production and have and give our customers this experience that they want to have? Modernization is tough. And having a prescriptive pattern that also gives your developers the freedom to be agile and get your customers in the way that they want to is difficult. So how do you provide them with this pattern, but also that freedom? With all of the research that we've done, with all of the experience that we have with our customers and with our teams that have been through digital modernization, we've learned that containerization really provides the power behind these patterns. Containerization makes it easy for us to package our application and the dependencies of that application into a single immutable piece of infrastructure that we can then deploy and scale across multiple environments easily. Now that the package and the dependencies go hand in hand together, the developer has more freedom to make choices, like what language he wants to build his application in, what dependencies he wants to package in that application, and how that application should scale in production. If we have an easily distributable package, and we have the platform to largely scale this for us in a highly available manner, and we put in place the operations for things like automation, it makes us a lot more agile and help us focus on the application that our developers are building. With orchestration of containers, you have to understand that things can get complicated. Things like storage, network, logging and monitoring, and how we work with things like telemetry so that we can take actions on events within our applications is important. And this also changes the paradigm for us, because no longer do we just take actions on things like CPU usage and memory or network latency, with really strong monitoring logging, we can actually take actions on orders that are filling up in the back queue, or the amount of clicks that someone is doing on a specific item. And we can take actions automatically on those things. Those are the things that our customers care about. Those are the things that gives them a really good experience. The only way to achieve this kind of agility, high availability and elasticity, is when we provide all of our teams with prescriptive guidance. Don't be afraid of putting in place guidelines and harnesses that will accelerate their adoption of your new modern business model. It doesn't mean that you're going to be constrictive. You will still have the freedom to choose whatever language you want because your application now lives in a container. Your developers can do whatever they want. But how that application moves into production, how it moves through security, and all of these things should have at least some form of guide wire. Cultural change is at the heart of that. Your security team needs to trust your developers. Your developers need to trust your operations teams. And everyone needs to work together in order to deliver a great customer experience. When this cultural shift happens, and when our developers and everyone trust each other, we also find that failure is no longer feared. All of these patterns that you prescribe needs to accept failure. It has to be built in a way that developers can dream up amazing ideas. Business owners should come up with new features and customers will give feedback and they should try it out. Try it out as quickly as possible. Not being afraid that it might fail. And when it does fail, and it will, iterate on that failure very quickly make the changes and push out the changes that needs to make that a successful product. So bold patterns that accept failure. In fact, that thrive on failure. Empower your teams with ownership. Those developers that own the application source code, that knows what's happening in the application, are the best to run that application in production, or at least to manage the experience of that application in production. And something funny happens when you empower them with ownership. When they own the production experience, they also start writing better code. Because no developer wants to get pinged or paged at 3 a.m. in the morning because the application is down. So we have gone ahead and we have created a specific pattern that you can adopt as is and help you get to a digitally modernized business. Follow the links below to all of our videos that speak about things like automation and orchestration that helps you Transform your business into one that is more agile, more elastic, and highly available.